Today, we have two AI stories to share with you. In a world where AI breakthroughs happen daily, tech giants like Microsoft, OpenAI, and Google are grappling with an unexpected challenge, a surge in water consumption due to their AI endeavors. You might wonder, how does AI relate to water use? Well, training AI models like ChatGPT demands immense computational power and generates a lot of heat. To cool these systems, data centers rely on water, leading to a notable increase in water usage. In its latest environmental report, Microsoft revealed a striking 34% rise in global water consumption from 2021 to 2022, reaching almost 1.7 billion gallons, equivalent to over 2,500 Olympic-sized swimming pools. The main driver behind this surge? AI research. Sho Li Ren, a researcher at the University of California, Riverside, has been investigating the environmental impact of AI products like ChatGPT. His team estimates that ChatGPT consumes about 500 milliliters of water each time it processes a series of 5 to 50 prompts or questions, indirectly factoring in water used to cool power plants supplying electricity to data centers. Google, another major player in AI, reported a 20% growth in water use during the same period, with much of this increase attributed to AI-related work. Microsoft and OpenAI, in response to environmental concerns, are investing in research to measure AI's energy and carbon footprint. They're also exploring ways to enhance the efficiency of large AI systems. Is responsible AI becoming a global commitment? Adobe, IBM, NVIDIA, and five other prominent AI companies have pledged to prioritize AI safety, security, and trustworthiness. This marks a second agreement negotiated by the Biden administration with AI developers, signaling a growing focus on responsible AI development. Joining this initiative are Cohere, Palantir, Salesforce, Scale AI, and Stability AI. While these commitments echo those made by Meta, Google, and OpenAI, it's important to note that they are involuntary, meaning there are no legal repercussions if companies fail to deliver on their promises. Additionally, the companies will facilitate third-party reporting of vulnerabilities, add watermarks to AI-generated content, publicly disclose risks linked to their AI systems, conduct research on societal risks, and develop AI solutions aimed at addressing critical societal challenges. The Biden administration collaborated with leaders from various countries to shape these commitments, emphasizing AI's importance in balancing safety and innovation. Today we are highlighting the work of Ye Jin Choi, a professor at the University of Washington from Time's 100 Most Influential People in AI. Imagine AI trying to crack a joke or understand complex moral values. Well, that's exactly what Professor Ye Jin Choi from the University of Washington is exploring. Last year, she led a study to see if AI systems could outwit humans in New Yorker cartoon caption contests. Spoiler alert, they couldn't. Choi believes that human intelligence is multidimensional, and while AI can calculate at lightning speed, it's far from replicating our humor or moral compass. Born in South Korea, Choi's journey in AI led to a quest for equity, diversity, and understanding moral norms. She's on a mission to teach AI systems right from wrong, just like we do with humans. But here's a twist. Choi acknowledges that defining a single set of moral norms for AI is as complex as human society itself. With diverse cultural norms and individual values, there's no one-size-fits-all solution. Thanks for tuning in to AI Equation. If you enjoyed today's episode, please consider leaving us a review and sharing the show with your friends. Can't wait to bring you more AI insights next time.